I wanted to present myself today in front of you to really comment the, um, and highlight the, the annual report that was put online yesterday by Commission Sécurité Publique and all the efforts that the SPVM has put forward to make sure that Montreal stays safe. I found it important to highlight their, their work. We know that during the pandemic, um, you know, it was, it was never seen that the SPVM were put in front of a lot of different difficult situations. They were also, the, the report also shows that they were able to adapt to the situation to remain uh, agile and to respond accordingly to what we see on the territory. Um, and the report actually it's, itself isn't a surprise to us. We know that there's an increase in armed violence uh, throughout all cities in North America. So what we see in the report for us is not necessarily a surprise. And it also shows that we've also been, uh, we've been at it for over a year as to all the efforts put in place to deal with the issue. Um, and we can see some of the results. We had two weeks ago a, a huge historic uh, um, perquisition for uh, amphetamines and uh, guns. Last week we had another um, perquisition for, um, for arm, for, for disarm efforts. So, you know, these things take time. We see the results today. And there's enquêtes, you know, that are being done now, and we'll see results in the future. So I especially want to highlight the work of the SPVM in the report. And, for, you know, the details will come out tomorrow as far as the statistics and everything uh, in the Commission where the SPVM will present the report to the public. When I heard Mr. Vaillancourt, I don't know if we read the same reports. All indicators show in a, an increase in criminality. 36 homicides in 2021, an increase of nearly 40% in the last five years an increase of for more than 27% in attempted murder and more than 22% as the, uh, in assault. This is without mentioning domestic violence and sexual uh, assaults. At the same time, we learned that the police department was short more than, more than 20, uh, 370 uh, uh, officers in 2021. The report speaks for itself. At the same time, we have an administration that is incompetent and disengaged. Yes, we understand that, that crime and violence and are increasing across Canada, across Canada, but what is special about Montreal is that we have an administration that is not even aware of the problem. All it does is pass the buck to Quebec City and Ottawa.